Hey guys, new comic book day. Found some really cool gems. Let's start. Ladies and gents, Rob here. Okay, so I went to the store on New Comic Book Day with really no hopes of finding anything new this week. So I'm not really buying too many new comic books on New Comic Book Day, but I did find one that was a gem, a book I didn't expect to be there. This is a book I normally wouldn't care about. This is X-Men's Legends. This is issue number nine. This is the Admadium foil variant. You know, didn't really care about that. However, I looked at the cover and I realized something. If you look closely, you will see Jubilee is blowing a bubble. And you know, I collect blowing bubble comic covers. This is kind of a hidden one here, so if you are a collector of uh, blowing bubble covers, you may want to look at this one. This one should be easy to get. Another cool book to pick up. I'm glad I found it. Now that was the only new comic book I found that was new this week. I did find some other books that were from previous weeks that were still on the rack. For example, this is Batman 106, and this is the first appearance of Miracle Molly. Apparently it's a popular new character, and I figured for cover price, why not pick it up? And then I found these from last week. I picked up two copies of Animal Castle, number one. This is the A cover. This book is really hot. I haven't read it yet. I hear it's all the rage and it has something to do with, kind of like a, um, has something to do with being similar to um, Animal Farm. So when I heard that, I didn't realize it was out last week, but I managed to grab a couple copies this week. I also happened to find, this is I guess the B cover. So A cover, B cover, you can see that. Anyway, these books right now, they if you check at your store, they might still be available at your local comic store. I got these for cover price, but right now, this A cover goes for about 20, and this B cover goes for about 20. If you see these, um, they might be worth picking up. I'm gonna read them, because it's supposed to be a really good story. Hey guys, if you're interested in purchasing some of these comics I have on my channel, some of these comics are available on my online store, robscomics.com, where I sell some of my favorite comics. You know, I, I like my spec comics, classic covers, good stories, and first appearances. So if you're interested, check out robscomics.com. All right, ladies and gents, I finally read The Maniac of New York, The Bronx is Burning. And if you like really cool horror, you know, Jason Voorhees style character, this book does not disappoint. Um, I thought he was gone in the last series, but he's back. Harry the, Harry the uh, Maniac is back, guys. And this book, excellent read. You can still find it for cover price. If you like horror stories, and this book is not for kids. This book is very, very, very gory. So if you like cool horror stories, I recommend this as an excellent read. And last but not least, a package came today. Let's see what I got, because I forgot. boy. Ladies and gents, if you send comics in a Gemini, make sure you don't put the comic bag tape. See this bag is already torn. Oh boy. The comic should still be in good shape and it is. But look at that bag. You should probably be inside of another bag, that way this doesn't happen. So not a big deal, the comic's still in good shape. But the book that I picked up was The Punisher number 10. This is the variant. This is called the Rest in Pieces variant. It's from 2009. And this is the first cover appearance of Frankencastle. A, um, kind of a cool character, Frankenstein meets the Punisher. Anyway, his first appearance as Frankencastle is issue 11. This is cover only. You see this book? This book is not easy to find. This book goes for, I got it for a good price. This book generally goes for $50 plus, and I guess a lot more in CDC 9.8. So 
So if you see this book, Punisher 10 from 2009, the first is called the Rest in Pieces variant. It's probably worth picking up because issue 11 is when he starts as Frankencastle. I recommend this is probably a good spec, at least this book. We ever see the character? I'm guessing if we if they do a Legion of Monsters type animated series, we could possibly see Frankencastle. You never know, but that's just me guessing, and guessing is not a guarantee.